Good morning, Nigeria. Welcome to our well, Social Media Trends and the Weekend Show. My name is Ina Peters, and it's been an exciting morning. I mean, the number of guests we've had on the show, I'm a bit distracted because the aroma from what they're eating right now is just... But I know why my own portion is waiting. Anyways, it was an interesting week on social media. Of course, you're already aware that um, the presidential election tribunal, you know, it's over. Now, the judgment has been given, and President Muhammad Buhari is still our, our president. Now, of course, uh, according to the judgment um, led by Gadba Mohammed, he said that the petition has failed to, you know, prove their petition. And so every case, all five charges have been, all charges leveled against the um, APC have been dropped. So President Muhammad Buhari is still our president. Okay, now of course, this has got a lot of people talking on social media. You know, with social media, you have uh, supporters of the ruling party currently, and you also have opposition, as should be. So there was a lot of um, conversation happening in the social media space. I'm talking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. People were fighting. But you know, that's how social media is. Another really interesting uh, matter that we saw on social media is Bonner Boy. Now, when he said, anybody we know wants to soji knock up something you know when people tell you these things in their song believe them okay now bonoboy was performing in atlanta at a show and um, there was a particular fan that was in the audience and this particular fan wasn't dancing the way bonoboy felt he should dance i mean i'm giving you bestie i'm giving you um killing them you know all this song you're supposed to be dancing so bonoboy actually brought out um the ticket that this particular person paid for and said you know what go home or better still, stay at the back. I don't want to see your face. So that did uh, cause a lot of uh, co controversy on social media. Some people were against Bonner. Who do you think you are? And then some people were like, yeah, that's how, that's the vibe. You should go, you know, to a Bonner Boys concert. You should go there to dance. And of course, you know, the new iPhone is out. And every time, well, towards the end of the year, we look forward to what iPhone is bringing out. And because we also know their competitors, um, Samsung. But this time around, it looks more like, uh, a gas cooker now if you look at the back i'm sorry i don't think i'm going to i don't think i'm going to get the phone and sadly it's actually cheaper than the iphone x so it did get, get a lot of people talking so people are like you see you should have waited you know for the 11 instead of rushing to get the x or x uh, max but anyways that is that and finally congratulations to davido and chioma it's out there she is pregnant yes they're expecting a boy and he has finally engaged her. So Assurance 2020. You guys are going to attend the wedding with me on social media. Where are you guys? Okay, we'll do that next year. But currently I have with me a super talented Nigerian musician. He is an alternative soul artist. Um, he won our hearts with that stupid song. And my favorite, you suppose know, Bez, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, thank how you How have you been? Me. Been really good, been really good. Really exciting times. Um, I have an album out, mm. so I'm very excited about, you know, the response I've been getting from it and what we could possibly do with, with a new album. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll get to the light album, but cool. it's my first time, you know, talking to you. So let's talk about... Um, I, I had to read you, I had to read <laughs> you up, and I, yes, I can't yeah. come on, it's live TV. <laughs> so, um, your, your story is very, very interesting. Yeah. I, I saw how, you know, um, you, you, you lost your dad, and yeah. then even going to school became a problem, but you were able to find people, there were people there that helped you, yeah. and you were able to continue, and even how you found out, you know, music was what you wanted to do. Yeah. And now I even see, I even had to read about the foundation. Mm. So for an artist like you, for a person like you, you know, we, all you've been through in life, why do you think giving back is important? Um, absolutely, it's very, very important. Because, I mean, sometimes we think it's all about us. Uh, meanwhile, I mean, we're a part of a, uh, of a huge and a larger community. And uh, that community is what really matters more than anything. You know, if you look at the African context, we've always been about community. Ah, when you see somebody's child doing something wrong, you know, the neighbors know and then they help. They said a village helps to, to raise a child. Mm -hmm. So um, I think giving back is very, very important. Um, you, you are, you as a person, uh, are there to also help other people come up. Mm -hmm. 
So they learn from your experience and you know and you can help them you know through through their path as well. Fantastic. Yeah, so, so tell us a little bit about your upbringing and how you found yourself with music and yeah. even the genre that you do which is quite different and yeah. not really um, it's not what the Nigerian market would first go for and yeah. yet you've been able to excel. So let's talk about you know how you got to where you are and how you found yourself with alternative sound. Yeah. Well, I mean, it started way, way, way back uh, when I was uh, very young. My dad used to play the guitar, and uh, he and my mom would do something really interesting where they would record themselves on a tape, playing and singing, and then they'll have a tape, you know, out sort of like release their own albums, but to their friends. And it was interesting growing up in that kind of environment, and that really inspired me to create the kind of music that I create. Uh, he taught me how to play the guitar, and I went on to just build on that skill and just, I mean, I loved doing it. I never thought I was going to be a musician. Um, later on, when I was in uni, after, you know, different performances and all of that, I, you know, came across a book that just helped me to really just discover myself. And I knew that music was what I really wanted to do. So I pursued it. I never had a job, you know, just as soon as I left school, I got into it. Um, I met my producer almost immediately, Kobams. And he was able to refine what I had and sort of channel me on that right path. That's why I said giving back and helping somebody, yeah. you know, get on that path is very important. And he did that for me and we started creating music. And one thing he told me is, listen, do not follow trends. Just create based on the inspiration you get and create. There's a market for everything you, you, you do. The work is find the people that connect to you, find the people that are there available to, you know, to, to patronize you. So that's what we did uh, with, with uh, alternative music. And it's, it's been really profitable. I mean, of course, there, there's been ups and downs, you know, like anyone, yeah. but um, I believe we, we, we've been able to crack it. Fantastic. So let's go to that stupid song. Yeah. And <laughs> th I think the making of the song is quite funny. But that with that song and when it was released, I think you were able to break a record. Yeah. The first uh, African music video to premiere on BET. Yeah. Now it's some we now seeing how many years later seeing, you know, Nigerians and African music just breaking Taking um, over the world. Yes. Like yeah. how does that make you feel knowing that you were part of, you know, uh, you're part of this thing yeah. where you started, you opened the door for a lot of African music to yeah. be aired on international television. Yeah, I mean, there's always a, um, a cycle. You know, people are there that open doors and then other people take it bigger and then you come back and benefit from, you know, that door you opened long time ago and then people that widen the door, you walk through it again. And um, it w it w I mean, for at that time, it was such a big deal. But, I mean, imagine what is going on right now. So, I mean, uh, I'm happy that we were able to, you know, set our foot down, you know, and, and have our footprints on the sands of time and all of that. Uh, but I think there's, there's also still, I mean, a lot of work to be done, even doing more in, in, in Nigeria and Africa, and more than just looking at the global market. What are we also doing here for the, for the musicians in, in Africa? How does it affect them? Okay, yeah. so are you of the, well, we, we've seen a lot of um, Nigerian artists, you know, getting signed to record labels. Do you think, do you support that move or you're saying maybe they should come back and we should have our own home-based record labels as we do have? Yeah. Now, instead of, sometimes you hear record labels and like, ah, is that one existing? Yeah. So do you think you, instead of, you know, these big artists going out there, we should come here and settle and have, you know, quality record labels the standards like the ones you're yeah. doing you know out of the country yeah. to get signed to i mean um it's great to be signed to a huge uh, a major record label you know um i mean it gives you more opportunities it opens you up to, to a bigger crowd to a bigger audience and i think that is very very important for for even the music industry here in nigeria that is important but i guess in the overarching goal of it all you're looking at I'm getting there so I can also help open doors for other people here, you know. And apart from also personal um, ambition, um, that is great. It's fantastic to do that. But my goal, I've, I've become very, very pro-Nigeria, very, very pro-Africa. And uh, you find out that these people come here and sort of jack our sound, you know, and then refine it and sell it. And it happens for everything. So I think we should really, really 
learn how to build value here for ourselves. So instead of them coming here to jack our sands and take it away, they come here to actually experience it and enjoy it. Yeah. So imagine if we put up amazing festivals like Coachella, amazing where people are booking their tickets years ahead or a year ahead, you know, to come for that festival. That is what we're talking about, where you can pull people in to experience your culture, your music, and just have the entire experience here instead of taking it out. Okay, great. Yeah. Now, there are so many artists right now in Nigeria. Some are yet to be discovered and all, but so many good artists. Mm -hmm. Where would you rate yourself? You know, there's the A-list. So, you know, where would you rate yourself? I rate myself as A-list, 100%. You know, because what I do, no, I mean, almost nobody else does it. Um, when we started the alternative movement, sort of, um, I, th I think it was Asha, me, and really can't, you know, think of other people in, in the line. There are, other, there are other people. But, you know, in terms of consistency and people who have been able to grab and own that space, I think I've been able to do that. And what I'll say, you know, because I had a creative meetup, you know, with young artists yesterday, and I told them that, listen, whatever path you create yourself, you're the king in that path. You know, so try as much as possible to create a path for yourself. And there are no rules. Mm -hmm. Don't get, don't let people classify you, oh, you're A-list or B-list or C-list. What does that mean? You know, so in, in, my, in my genre, in what I do, I am definitely A-list. Okay. We've toured the world. We've toured Nigeria. We've, you know, we, we've have had endorsements. We've had a lot of success and there's still more to come. You know, I have an artist hub where we help artists build sustainable careers as well. Apart from Mr. Easy, no one is really doing stuff like that, you know. So you, 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 you look at yourself as a whole and as a brand, what you've achieved and what you're doing, and then you All rate right. yourself by yourself. Fantastic. <laughs> let's, let's get back yeah. to the Light album. Tell me about, you know, this album, the thought process, and of course, why you're in Abuja currently. Yeah. Um, the thought process for, for the album, um, the Light, the reason why I called it the Light is because I, I, I reached a point in my life where after 10 years in, in the music industry, I'm thinking, what next? What next? And because I had been so ambitious looking at myself, I had to like take that light out, you know, and then look at other people. How can I also help other people achieve, build their dreams? And the more you help other people build your dreams, the bigger you become. Because you need to be a big enough platform for other people to ride on. So that's my motivation right so now. So there are how many songs on this album? Uh, so there are 11 songs on the album. Um, and one is an instrumental. I featured two uh, amazing artists. One is Instacac, one is the, the, the caveman who is, who is a band. Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah. We're All right, now you're yeah. having an album listening here in Abuja. Yeah. Okay, what time is this? At, uh, um, so where? album listening is today. Um, it's 7 p.m. You can go on my social media and check it out, okay. everything. Uh, it's Bez Idakula, or just search for Bez. The, the verified one is me. Yeah, so you one can day find we'll out. get there. Very <laughs> you, can find <laughs> you can find out everything you need you need about that. All right, thank yeah. you very very thank much for so coming much for on our me. show. Um, the light. I hope that you know what you really want this album to do. I hope yeah. you're able to achieve it. The number of lives you want to touch. Definitely. So definitely listen to it. Thank you so much. On <laughs> <laughs> Please right. do. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this interview because I personally did. Um, you can go on his Instagram and find out further details concerning the album listening happening today. I'll be leaving you guys with the video of the week. My name is Ina Fetus. See you guys next week. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name B.E.Z. We in the building right here with my man Praise. Yo, Praise, remember those songs we sang back in the day when we were kids? Stupid songs. Really, really stupid song. Your praise, sing the hit